Hey, I'm Donald Bell for Cool Tools, and in this video, we're talking about my favorite kind of tape, gaffer tape. I ordered up four different brands of gaffer tape on Amazon to see if there's any difference between them, and there's definitely a difference that I'll show you. Now, you can find product links for each of these different rolls of gaffer tape down in the description. First off, real quick for those of you who've never seen or used gaffer tape, this is a matte finished tape that's named after movie set electricians, or gaffers, the idea is that it's strong enough to tape down cables, it's easy to tear with just your fingers, it has a non-reflective finish so that it doesn't introduce glare for lighting and filming, and as important, it comes up clean without leaving a residue behind or a mess of tape scraps. For me, this stuff is what I reach for instead of duct tape almost 100% of the time. At this point, I think of duct tape like I think of tequila. It sounds good in the moment, but you always have to deal with the mess in the morning. The residue left behind by duct tape is nasty stuff. It's, I've ruined cables with it and floors and tools. As a tape, I think it's overrated. Like duct tape, gaffer tape is a thick cloth back tape, but the cloth is a tighter weave of finer threads. It's similar to the feel of denim. When it's done right, it's thick enough to easily find the end, peel off a strip without it collapsing onto itself, and tear it off at a nice straight line using just your fingers. It's everything I want a tape to do, and when you get spoiled on it, you understand why people will spend $15 to $20 a roll to get this stuff. Unfortunately, I've come to realize that not all gaffer tapes are created equal, so there's a chance that you've tried a quote-unquote gaffer tape that hasn't lived up to the hype. I'm going to show you what that looks like, but first, let's just lay out the brands we're talking about here and why I chose them. First, we have a brand called Gaffer's Choice. It's around $14 a roll on Amazon, and the roll includes an extra five yards of tape. It gets a lot of reviews, the company's been around for a long time, and there's a satisfaction guarantee. Next, a brand called Tape Ninja. Not a ton of reviews on this, but one of the few gaffer tapes on Amazon that have overwhelmingly positive reviews. This goes for $17 a roll and also has a satisfaction guarantee. Then we have a roll from Xfasten. This is the lowest priced gaffer tape on Amazon at around $9 a roll. Over a thousand reviews, mostly positive, and a satisfaction guarantee. Finally, we'll take a look at two rolls from Gaffer Power. This is the most reviewed and highest rated gaffer tape brand on Amazon. Their two inch roll goes for around $17, but we'll also take a look at their three inch roll, which sells for around $22. Satisfaction guarantee on these two. Now, before I get into evaluating these, I want to head off the comments real quick. There are a lot of different uses for gaffer tape. And what I might see as a shortcoming on one brand may be an upside for other people. Just as an example, you can find tan versions of gaffer tape out there that people buy to hold up their boobs. They probably value different qualities in the tape than someone who's using it to tape down extension cords. With that in mind, let's take a look at the rolls I have from Gaffer Power. I bought these over a year ago and because they're my first experience with gaffer tape, they've kind of set the bar for me for what I expect gaffer tape to be. I have a two inch wide roll in yellow and a three inch roll in basic black. A lot of manufacturers offer their tape in different colors. The reason I chose to have a roll in yellow is that it makes for great labeling tape. The matte surface takes permanent marker really well. The three inch rolls are ideal for taping down cables to the floor because you get more tape on each side of the cable to help make contact with the floor. It's harder to do that with the two inch tape. But the other reason to pick up a wider roll is that the three inch strips you get by tearing off little bits are often enough to tackle small jobs or make labels. And here's a tip for labeling on any brand of black gaffer tape. Get some silver tip Sharpies. These aren't the messy paint pen type. Sharpie makes a silver ink type that you can get for just a few bucks, and I'll link to them in the description. Now, looking at the quality of this tape, it's thick enough that you can find and peel the end from the roll with no effort. The fabric backing has a tight weave that you can see, and when you tear a piece off, it tears in straight lines across the grain of the fabric in either direction. For the adhesive, it's strong enough to hold an extension cord to the wall and it will stay put. If you ever need to dial down the adhesive a little, you can stick it to your shirt or your pants to pick up a little lint. Now let's look at a different roll. This one's from Gaffer's Choice. And right off the bat, I can tell it's different because it's noticeably lighter. I weighed each roll and this is the lightest of them all, even with the extra five yards of tape they give you. You can also see a difference looking at the texture of the tape. This one has a flatter, more paper-like appearance you don't really see the weave of the fabric backing. What's cool though is that it's even less reflective 
than the gaffer power roll. If the goal is to have a tape for photography and video that doesn't reflect light, this seems like a good fit. The trouble though is how it tears. It takes a little more effort to tear a piece off by hand, and when you do, you get these jagged tears where bright white bits of backing show through. So if you wanna make the most of that ultra matte black look, you need to cut this with the blade or else you'll see these little white flecks at the ends. As far as the adhesive goes, this feels like the lowest tack of the bunch. It's almost like a post-it note. And like I said, for some applications, that might be ideal. But if you're looking for something that will stay in place and keep a cord on the ground, there are better options in my opinion. Now let's take a look at this roll from Tape Ninja. Now we're back with a tape that feels virtually identical to the Gaffer Power Roll and sells for around the same price at $17. You can feel the extra heft, you can see the weave on the back of the tape, you can see that it's a little shinier than the Gaffer's Choice and maybe even a little shinier than the Gaffer Power. You get these clean, straight tears, you don't see much of the white fabric material showing through, and the adhesive has a strong but not too strong tack to it that I trust to stay put better than the Gaffer's Choice. And here's another thing I noticed to help you spot the difference between different grades of gaffer tape. If you look at the side of the roll, you can see that the rolls with the more paper-like texture are bright white on the sides, and the rolls with the woven fabric texture carry their color through to the side. So even this yellow roll from Gaffer Power is yellow on the side. Finally, we have the $9 roll from Xfasten, and initially, it's hard to tell the difference between this and the Gaffer's Choice roll. It weighs a little more though, despite being five yards less than the gaffer's choice, so I know we're not dealing with an identical formulation. It's the same papery texture on the top, but on the bottom, you can see a noticeable difference in the texture, and I can also feel a noticeable difference in the tack. The x fasten feels a little stickier and a little thicker. It's also easier to tear off using just your hands, and it seems to tear a little straighter than the gaffer's choice, but you still get some of the jagged white edges that you won't find on the Tape Ninja or the Gaffer Power. Unless you really prefer the lower tack, thinner feel of the Gaffer's Choice, the x Fasten seems to offer better quality for a lower price for this style of Gaffer Tape. My preference is for the heavier cloth texture tape from Gaffer Power or Tape Ninja, but I would still take something like the x Fasten over duct tape, and at $9, that's an easier choice to make. So there you go, I hope this was a useful roundup for you. It was useful for me to get a better idea of what kinds of gaffer tape were out there and if there really was a difference. And I can now say that there is and I can do a better job spotting what's what. Remember you can find Amazon links to all the tapes down in the description and you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like these at cool-tools.org.